Come one, come all. Muddy boots will wander where sneakers never will. Moving on the back roads, through the backwoods, and into the cracks of our imagination. A podcast disguised as a sound painting. Or is it a sound painting disguised as a podcast? Tune in to hear a patchwork of sound, snippet, and song. Field recordings from wherever. The random whimsical. And the rare and not so rare. Greetings and welcome home, everyone, to Muddy Boots. My name is It All Comes Down to the Dishes Tanali Von Scrubber. Here to warmly present Totally High Holy Rainbow Colored Spirit Hawk of Awakened Manifestation, Part 5. An episode that features almost 20 years of field recordings I've made at rainbow gatherings around the world. You can find the entire collection online at soundsfromtherainbow.org. There's several books, articles, and whatnot available out there to get a cursory understanding of what a rainbow gathering is. But of course, it's difficult to impart without attending the event itself, writing about a phenomenon in print. However, rainbow being an oral culture, the field recording archive acts like an ethnography of sound, where you can get an idea, perhaps an even deeper or richer context of the event, and subculture through said sound medium. I'm writing a book about 20 years of field recording at rainbow gatherings around the world. There's quite an extensive archive featured online at Sounds from the Rainbow, and the aim of the book is to celebrate the audio gems, bring a broader context to the project, as well as to include various essays on specific recordings. Think of it as a listening guide slash sound song walk a choose-your-own-adventure through all things Rainbow Field Recordings. Anyway, if a particular recording moves you, whether from this episode, previous episodes, or the archive itself, and you enjoy writing and wish to participate, I welcome an essay from you. Email me at tenalilight at gmail.com and I will give you further prompts and instructions. Thus far, I've had a splendid time exploring the archives, researching, and writing. Stay tuned. Alrighty, let's begin with this. A loon's song is like a peaceful wand, stretched twilight to the worlds beyond, a box of sunlight and a bow of moon glow, scattered about upon the traveler's road. Bullfrogs croak like a wandering goat, Painting sounds on a star-hung night. Tot, ta-tot, ta-ta-ta-tot, ta-tot. Tot, ta-tot, ta-ta-ta-ta-tot.
Take us there, my brother. Take us home. Hey, we got some special visitors passing by in a hot air balloon. I see uh, Dorothy and Toto up there. <laughs> there they are in the rainbow balloon. <laughs> stand, stand up so they can see the picture. Everybody shine at the picture. <laughs> Around the world in 80 days. joke but I don't know any oh wait I know one that was great <laughs> what did the pencil what did the unsharpened pencil say to the eraser never mind it's pointless green <laughs> 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 like right now going. and we're steeping a bunch of other stuff English breakfast jasmine something which is what lured us your way what, yeah. the green peach <laughs> Okay, now this here, this is a story to make you fresh creep. It's gonna give you poos gimples. It's the story of Cinderella who lived in a big hark down on a hill with her mean old meps and the three sissy uglers. Now one day, Cinderella was in the kitchen flopping the moor, and who should appear but a feudable berry? And she said, I am your berry fodgather, and I'm here to grant you one wish. And Cinderella said, may I go to the ball? So with the wave of her magic wand, Cinderella was transformed into a babishing Rudy with a long white gapping sound and a necklace of poopies and merles. And on her feet were two tiny sats clippers. <laughs> and the feudal barbarian said, now you may go, but you must promise to be mown by him. <coughs> and Cinderella made a dash for the door, got to the ball, and who's the first eligible bachelor she should run into but the Prince of Hints? And the Prince of Hints says, may I dab this hands? <laughs> and they danced and talked and laughed all night, but suddenly the truck cluttered to trike swelled and Cinderella banned from the roll, but as she did, one of the tiny sass clippers flipped from foot. <laughs> well, the Prince of Hints found this sass clipper, and the next day, he went from house to house, and you can't turn that around. <laughs> Finally, he got to the house where the mean old Mets <coughs> and the three sissy uglers lived, and knocked on the door, and the sissy uglers were right there waiting for him, but of course their beat were too fake. <laughs> Finally, it was Cinderella's turn, and guess what? The clipper pitted surgically. They were married in a pagan, hand-fasting, polyamorous, open relationship, rainbow, uh, lovely, queer, uh, transgendered, fucked ceremony. And the moral of the story is, they have lovely ever after. And what they learned was that some of our bubbles are trawl and some of our bubbles are trig. But if we didn't have any troubles, how could we count our blessings? They call me Chuck I'm here and flying is my game. Sometimes I fly real low, sometimes I fly real high. Sometimes it smokes too thick and I can't even fly. And I said, I learned a lot that day. Then I sit down and I'll go float away. Yeah. Hey. What Chuck the Raven said, he said, never, 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 never wait.
watch up the raven said He said never, 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 never waste Go outside and play was the day of your birth. 
Out from your eyes shine the sun, and when they shut, you are the moon. Expand infinitely outward and snap back when you have something to say, and when you sing, sing it from that black hole ball in your belly. You are the seventh day of rest and all six before and the voice that tells that tells that story again. Mythologize yourself and love all gods. The Big Bang was the day you were born. Find your diamond raft and cross the river. Worship land, worship water, worship friend. They were with you at the start. They are with you. Surrender. Let the force of your own explosion carry you. Close your eyes and be the moon and let it let you learn, carried through darkness, towards some other sun, some distant eye.
Very blind. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my heart the third one ah because this is something we got to do we must gather the fragments we can mend the sacred circle people weave and mend weave and mend the sacred circle Weave and mend We must gather the fragments We can mend the sacred circle people Weave and mend Weave and mend the sacred circle Weave and mend And this is important because we gotta mend the sacred circle That's a part of, I think that's what we're for um, All of the earth peoples All of the people that had a real connection to the earth have had that tried and have had tribulations and and many ways many things have been lost and so in order to in order to heal the earth in order to heal the sacred circle which really means healing the spirit of humanity in order to heal that we have to gather up whatever fragments we can find and that's what I've been doing all my life you know um, African drumming Hindu stories Native American rituals, anything I can find, because you know I'm a white guy, and us white guys <laughs> are the poorest people on the planet because materially we're the richest people on the planet, mm -hmm. and 
so we have to gather the rainbow. Our job, part of it, is to gather up the fragments and to try to heal them and to mend the sacred circle. And that's all I have to say for now. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I just walked in on the last part. That was
The beginning of eternity, the end of time and space, the beginning of every end, and the end of every race. <laughs> what is it? Uh, dirt. Alright, I'm supposed to stall. So everybody take a big breath. And go, ah. <laughs> it down to its sheer essence. <laughs> <laughs> Laboring so hard, I was weeping. So if you notice, like a really nice saltiness, <laughs> that's my effort. Mm. Glad it's not coming from somewhere else. What is it? A story? Or a story. She's the hardest person to tickle Hi. in the world. It's like it took me a few months to learn how to tickle her. <laughs> I accidentally rung it. Hey, how you doing? I'm tripping balls. <laughs> How are you doing? But you looking good from here. Cowboy. You just put weird things in your bowl all the time. You just take weird things from girls. The beginning of eternity, the end of time and space, the beginning of every end, and the end of every race. Yeah. What is that? E. E. The letter E. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
made whole from the beginning. Sunshine's on And the snow fell Into water Running down Your lips taste, yes, and God is crying all the tears we make, all the tears we fake, tricking ourselves and Leaving that we're not worthy of love, but we are worthy of love. Entangled in material world, reaching.
Jerusalem, she smiles. They're sitting on the banks of the Jordan out into the Holy Lands waiting for the ferry. Tomatoes, olives, cucumbers, desert lavender blossoms. Reeds hide their faces from ghosts, omnipresent and faithful. Two. The tracks are littered with glass, her skin scaly from eczema. There's a dirty rig over here, a piss spot over there. They're waiting for the train out, the underworld beneath their knees. Three. Struggling in dust behind an abandoned club, he throws his hands to her throat. Fighting demons are becoming them, he can't decide still. Four. The sun also sets upon their journeys here as the naked bodies in splendor are revealed to be Jerusalem. Lavender continues to blossom.
Welcome again to Muddy Boots. My name is Crawling on All Fours Tenali. This is part 5 of Totally High Holy Rainbow Colored Spirit Hawk of Awakened Manifestation. We're exploring my collection of field recordings made at rainbow gatherings over the last 20 years or so. For a playlist and notes, check out muddybootsradio.org and be sure to subscribe to the show too, wherever you get the podcast. You can listen to and or download more Rainbow Gathering field recordings at soundsfromtherainbow.org. To connect, find me on Instagram and Facebook at Muddy Boots Radio. As stated earlier, I'm writing a book about 20 years of field recording at Rainbow Gatherings around the world. There's quite an extensive archive featured online at Sounds From The Rainbow. And the aim of the book is to celebrate the audio gems, bring a broader context to the project, as well as to include various essays on specific recordings. Think of it as a listening guide slash sound song walk, a choose your own adventure through all things rainbow field recordings. Anyway, if a particular recording moves you, whether from this episode, previous episodes, or the archive itself, and you enjoy writing and wish to participate, I welcome an essay from you. Email me at tenalilight at gmail.com and I will give you further prompts and instructions. I invite you to continue wandering the trail of sound by hopping on over to the B-side. See you there. (laughs) 